Welcome to From Betrayal to Breakthrough, and here is a mini dose of Dr. Debbie where I'm sharing tips, suggestions, strategies, and sometimes just motivation to have you move past your betrayal once and for all. Are you bamboo? I'm asking because out of the five stages from betrayal to breakthrough, I have narrowed down which stage is most similar to an amazing force of nature, a plant, a flower, a tree. And stage four is very similar to bamboo. And here's what I love. It's my favorite stage. And it's my favorite stage because stage three is the one we get stuck in all the time. Most people find themselves in stage three and stay there for life. It is the easiest one to get stuck in. Transformation doesn't even begin until stage four. But what I love about stage four is you're doing all this work. It's very action oriented. It's not action oriented in how do I survive my experience? It's action oriented in how can I, what do I need? What can I do? What can I include in my life? And then what happens is you don't see the effects of it right away. And you see everybody else, they look like they're doing great. You know, it's like, think about flowers, right? They're popping up, everything looks good. Bamboo is underground for like ever, five years. And then when bamboo is good and ready, it shoots up so powerfully and unapologetically, and it is as strong as steel. But you don't know, you don't see the effort of what you're doing because there's so much going on underneath the surface. So find out which force of nature you are. Find out what stage you're in by taking the uh, Healed or Hardened quiz. Just go to healedorhardenedquiz.com. Are you bamboo, my bamboo friend? I hope so. There is so much going on when you are bamboo and just wait because your moment will come and you will just shoot up so strong with so much confidence and health and abundance and clarity and happiness and joy. And that is so exciting. And that's where transformation begins healed or hardened quiz.com after an incident with shattered trust and betrayal think about what uh what you'd be looking for you'd be looking for honesty and integrity and loyalty and trustworthiness and unconditional love well who better to do that than a puppy. Dr. Debbie here. And the reason why I'm saying it is because on Wednesday, we are bringing home our 10th puppy. Not at the same time, but over the last 30 years, this will be our 10th dog. And I, and at first I thought, oh, it's for the kids. No, it's not. It's for me. And I, and I was really thinking about, well, what, what is it? Why is it that I have this love for, for, I've always had a love for animals, but Really, what when you think of the emotions that you look for, and I'm going to be doing more videos about oxytocin and dopamine and all of the neurotransmitters and chemicals, hormones and chemicals that are affected in such a positive way by uh, by by loving our our pets. But when you think about it, especially after an incident with shattered trust and betrayal, you're looking for that honesty, that that integrity, right? Even think about how dogs just have integrity. You know what you're getting. And while each dog is different and each dog has its, you know, their own personality, they're in integrity. There's nothing sneaky or backhanded or, or you know, something you're unsure of. You know what you're getting. I mean, will you be surprised by their behavior? Yeah, but it's never in a way that is so shocking, right? Or, uh, and just the unconditional love. There's never a question. You know your dog loves you and you are the highlight of their day and of their life when you just merely walk into a room. And and think about the, um, the trustworthiness and think about the loyalty, right? Your dog follows you around everywhere, loves you. You are the greatest thing going. So doesn't it make sense? that after an experience with shattered trust and betrayal, you would want a dog or a puppy. So here's Dr. Debbie just giving you a prescription for uh, for a puppy and for a dog. I just think when it comes to healing, it is a necessary part of the healing process. So uh, at first I thought I was crazy and I've always been told I'm crazy getting all these dogs with everything else I have going on, but I realized very important part of the healing process. So if you're a puppy lover and a dog lover like me, know that we're not crazy, we're healing. And it's all part of the process and we're looking for that simplicity and that love and that joy and that honesty that puppies give us. I'll talk to you next time. Have you ever seen a bucket of crabs? 
I'm asking because you may be hanging out in the crab bucket. Here's what I mean. If you've ever seen, a, it's Dr. Debbie here. If you've ever seen a bucket of crabs, you will notice they are always swarming around the bottom. And then there's that one hopeful crab that's sort of climbing up the side. But if you notice, there's always one crab that's like grabs it and pulls it right down. If that other crab can't go, it's not letting the other one go. And, the, and so this is what I see all the time, where if you are, you have to be so careful, especially when you are healing from shattered trust and betrayal, be so careful who you're spending your time with. Because so often, let's say you join a support group, right? The whole idea is you want like-minded people going through the same thing uh, and you need support at a time where you need it most. And that's very true, except the wrong type of support does more harm than good. And what happens is, and I know this sounds crazy, you will sabotage your healing because you don't want to outgrow the group, right? Here are your people, you make friends, you feel connected, you start healing, and then what do you do? It's like, uh-oh, I have to sabotage myself because I'm going to, you know, outgrow these people. It's all subconscious, by the way. You don't even realize you're doing this. But you want, and it's like the ain't an awful club. And what you want is you need support, but you need support that's going to help lift and inspire. When it comes to, this is what I see all the time uh, as part of the five stages from betrayal to breakthrough. This is so typical in stages three and stage, moving from stage three, the hardest stage to leave to stage four. So often there's this big change in friendships and you're, and, and people say to me all the time, what the heck? I've had these friends 10, 20, 30 years. Is it me? Yes, it is. You're undergoing the transformation. And if they don't rise, they don't come. You become very very picky and very particular with who you spend your time with and you need to. That's why transformation is a very, uh, not lonely, very personal process. So if you are hanging out in the crab bucket and you know you are by the way you feel, if you feel drained, depleted, spent, you know, exhausted, check who you're spending your time with because you want to feel energized, expanded, better for having spent time with them, new ideas flowing. You feel, you feel like you're moving forward. That's how you know you're out of the crab bucket. So take a look around at the people you're spending your time with and are they sabotaging? Are you allowing them to sabotage your success because you're afraid to outgrow them or do they help lift and inspire? And to see what stage you're in, just take the Healed or Hardened quiz, healedorhardenedquiz.com. I'll see you next time. You need the right tools, support, and the right community to move through the five stages from betrayal to breakthrough. And we have all that within the PBT Institute. So join us at the PBT, as in post-betrayal transformation, thepbtinstitute.com. There's a version of you who's so confident, healthy, peaceful, and happy on the other end of your healing. And we can't wait to help you get there. We got you. Thanks for listening. And here's to your breakthrough.